Hey guys, Bing here, and today we're going to model this um, this structure. So, and first we're going to model this uh, hexagon structure column. Okay. So first, go new family new structural column open. So. Now I'll delete uh, delete some of the reference plan and then RP uh, create a reference plan starting from the center and uh, we need uh, 150 150 degrees okay so now drag this up and ping now we need another one. So we can just use mirror mm this way. Okay, so ping. So now we can reference plan RP offset maybe 200 roughly. One, two, one, two. And then di equal di equal. So another dimension another dimension so these two will match this one so associate with this width so now we have this shape so this is the profile of the column we don't need the depth so i'm just going to delete it so it won't it won't get confused later on so now we need to create a extrusion and pick line so check the lock and pick all these reference plans so one two three four five six and then trim tr and uh, check go to front and drag this column up to here lock and the lock so you can also click on this uh, extrusion and associate this uh, material parameter. So that's it. So um, let's try. So I'm going to change it to 100. Apply. Yep, good. So now this column's finished. Let's, let's create a project. Okay, so let's uh, oh, let's have a look of this image. So um, I'll guess this floor level is about maybe let's say here. Okay, so and then this will be about two meter. So this will be the upper floor, which is about four meter, and then another maybe three meter. And I will also um, I will also. Guess the dimension of this one will be um, about two meter maybe, and then four meter across. Okay, so let's now let's do it. So first, let me check the elevation. So four meter, which is okay. So go to floor plan. Uh, actually, I'll just do a detail line. So um, use this one. Six side, which is good. Click here and topping two meter. So now this is the shape we need. So I'll just do a dimension. So that's four meter. Yeah. Oh, good. So now we can. Uh, let me just load this uh, column. So I'll load this to the project. So now we can place. Um, don't worry too much about all the like uh, height or depth, so we can change it later. So now I'll just make sure uh, it's on the correct location. Okay, so I'll just place it on this detail line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and also another one here. I'll just use this one CC, copy here to here and move it down to you can just press your shift and pick this oh sorry uh wrong one maybe i should just use a line okay 
align yep here and then to here okay so now we we can delete the detail line and go to 3d view and pick the, the middle ones the middle ones from um, from 2 meter to 4 meter so here ground floor or topping 2 meter to 4 meter and the other 6 will from top 4 meter plus 3 meter 7 meter high and then um, from um, yeah, look so that's 4 meter maybe a little bit lower than 4 meter 3 7 so okay and also there's there's another big one here that's okay so I'll just copy this one control C and align to the same place and change the height to 0 to 2 meter and then edit type duplicate I'll just name it I'll, I'll just too lazy to name I'll just leave it okay so 300 okay so we have a, uh, now we have a big column there so okay and then the next step is to add all these um, framing all these beams okay so I'll, I'll pretend all they are all the same size okay so so before that we need to go to structure beam load family so this is under structural framing and wood so I'll just uh, I'll just pick one okay so and uh, uh, I'm not sure which one I'll just use this one okay so now check this 3d snapping and then we can place so doesn't really matter so you can just pick on a point and then try to pick the point as long as see this when you move uh, move you onto the column you, you can see this uh, blue line so this is as long as you place it on this line that's okay so you can just do it this anywhere on this column anywhere on this column okay I'll show you so it's it's easy to just do it this way just just place them roughly and then select them so we need to change change the height of these points so the first one I'll just use ground floor and uh, so from this image um, I guess this point is about 2 meter plus 200 so 2.2 so go back here topping 2200 so you will see all this frame go to that point okay and then same these ones I can just topping um, let's look at this image so I'll guess that's just uh, go up to go up to floor level so uh, I'll use 4 meter okay just typing 4 meter okay so that's it um, and then I'll just connect these okay so CS and you can also so so to, to pick this endpoint use SE and move on to this uh, blue line so SE SE first and then move on to the blue line so SE 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 so you can see they are in the right location and also these ones okay so SE so I'm going to pick the, the high point and SE so because I know that this endpoint is the same as this endpoint and same as this endpoint so don't really matter so I'll just use SE 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 
Let's see. So now, and also you 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 can see that um, this one's four four. So if we want to change the level, make more for, uh, for example, if you want to lift this beam up a little bit, you can just you don't need to drag these points because it's very hard to adjust. In 3D view, you just you just need to as long as it's um, on the column. So see this one, this beams on this column. You can just type in maybe I'll lift them for 100. Okay, so just do it this way. I'll make put it back. Um, so now I think that's. It's the structure, the main structures. Okay. And also, um, for example, for this, you want to make it uh, look nicer. You can just drag it a little bit and then use a curve to cut this uh, being. So, and you can also adjust the coping distance. For example, if type in maybe two. So, yep. Okay, so yeah, depending, you can just drag, move this up, and the user coping if you want to make it perfect, like a maybe two, something like that. Okay, um, yeah, and then I think the main structure is all finished, and then we just need to place some wall, maybe, maybe windows, maybe curtain wall. And uh, I'll just do one, okay? So I'll go to because we're um, in level one. Just go to level one floor. And uh, where's my? Uh, just change that to medium. So yeah, so you can see. Um, now you can just do a wall. W A. Uh, I'll just do a timber start wall. So from from this to this. And yep, so I'll just continue this. Okay, so now let's have a look in 3D view. So, yeah, maybe change the height to 3 meter, something like that. And then you can just, um, you can just either add some windows or even just do a curtain wall. So, um, yeah, you can do it in 3D view as well if, if you want to. So yeah, edit type, check embed, and then you can manually adjust them roughly. Yeah, you can add grids. Let me have a look. Uh, go this way, this way. Oops. One, two, three. Yes. Something like that. So what? Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then you can add mullions. Yeah. Oh, well, good. So that's it. Um, yeah. I think the using structural framing in columns is the easiest way to 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 do this. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and uh, I'll select all. I'll just use the same material of this beam. Okay, so Control C and select all. It's A. Control V. So that's it. Oh, floor. Yeah, you know how to do it, floor. Don't you? Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.